Being based on the Chinese Type 92 M tank, the Al Khalid is designed with a 125 bore, 48 caliber long smooth bore, long fritigged and chrome plated gun barrel, which is manufactured from highly stiff electro slag remelting steel. The gun provides very high internal chamber pressures for APF SDS, heat FS, and guided missiles. The gun can also fire the following types of conventional ammunition such as APF SDS, heat FS, and HEFS. The gun is modified variant of both the ZPT98 and KBA3 series of 125 smoothbore gun for Al Khalid MBT, which provided compatibility with the Ukrainian. ATGMs such as combat. Now the automatic ammunition handling system for the main gun has a 24 round ready to fire magazine and can load and fire at a rate of 8 rounds per minute. The tank is also equipped with a 7.62 mm coxile machine gun and a 12.7 mm remotely controlled externally mounted air defense machine gun that can be aimed and fired from within the tank and 16 smoke grenade launchers. The gunner is provided with a dual magnification day sight and the commander with a panoramic sight for all-round independent surveillance. Both sights are dual axis image stabilized and have independent laser range finders. The tank has hunter-killer capability giving the commander the ability to acquire new targets independently while the gunner is engaging another target. The automatic target tracking system is designed to work when the tank and target are both moving. The tank's FCS has been improved and is able to queue up multiple targets at once and has auto tracking for both the 125mm main gun as well as for the 12.7mm anti-air gun. While on the other hand, the Al Khalid is fairly lightweight compared to the Western tanks, weighing around 46 tons compared to the 60 ton M1 Abrams and Leopard 2. A power to weight ratio of 26.66 HP ton gives acceleration from 0 to 32 km per hour in 10 seconds and a maximum speed of 70 km per hour, the speed and agility also helping to improve survivability. A snorkel allows the tank to cross water obstacles up to 5 meters deep after some preparation by the crew, while navigation is assisted by an inertial navigation system and a GPS satellite navigation system. The Al Khalid has modular composite armor and explosive reactive armor, high hardened steel plates over rolled homogeneous layers. The composite armor includes classified elements and NERA inserts. Vehicle also has overpressurized nuclear biological chemical defense system, an effective thermal smoke generator, internal fire extinguisher, and explosion suppression system as well. The infrared signature of the tank is reduced by infrared reflective paint, while the Al Khalid's armor is publicly stated to be around 660 mm versus heat and 550 mm versus APF SDS without ERA on the turret, and the glasses is estimated to be around 450 to 470 mm without ERA. An advanced laser detection system has also been added. The LTS-1 consists of a mast-mounted sensor and operator's control box, which includes a display showing threats around 360 degrees the tank. The laser threat sensor LTS-786P is an early warning device, which gives audio and visual alarms of threats by sensing a laser beam aimed at it from any direction. 